Chapter 2 is directed by Andy Muschietti and stars James McAvoy, Bill Hader, Jessica Chastain, Isaiah Mustafa, James Ranson, Jay Ryan, and Bill Skarsgård. It was one of my most anticipated movies of the whole entire year. Unfortunately, this movie ended up being one of the most disappointing films of the whole year. That's not to say I hated this movie because I definitely didn't, but I thought it was a huge step down from the first movie. Anyways, let's start off with what I liked, and what's cool is I got to see the first movie in the theater as well, um, so that was very fun. I remember the audience, there was a lot more people in there, which was weird, and um, a lot more people in my school were talking about it, and I haven't heard a single person talk about this one lately, so, huh, it was a little odd, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, to start off with what I liked about this movie, um, the characters... Once again, I cared about them. I cared about every single one of them. Some people say there wasn't enough development. I thought there was. Um, for some characters, there's definitely more than other, like, development-wise. But, like, I would definitely say that I cared about most of the characters in this movie. Um, especially James McAvoy and um, Bill Hader. Like, their characters I loved. Um, and they gave the two standout performances of the movie. And also, I just realized that McAvoy and Chastain were in Dark Phoenix this year. Huh. I don't know, that's a little thing I noticed. But um, the acting, just by everyone, is like so on par with like everyone else in this movie. Like The acting is incredible. Um, and um, the kids in this movie, they're great again. Um, and I just cared about everyone in this movie because they gave such great performances. And um, they're just characters that, like, you know, it's hard to see the movie without. So, like, that's why you know, why we care about them so much. Um, let's talk about some other things. So, the first Pennywise scene is great, and one other scene in a mirror house. Um, if you saw that in the trailer, I didn't watch the full trailers. I, well, I watched the first, um, like, the first teaser. I watched that whole thing, and then, um, part of the second trailer. But, um, yeah, I thought that scene in the mirror house was amazing. Um, and the first Pennywise scene is great because like that's actually the only scene where like Pennywise actually intimidated me um there's some other scenes but like that was the biggest scene and um the first half hour of the movie is actually really exciting and when the title screen comes on it's nuts um and this movie also does have some good emotion um some nice emotional moments that like you know it pulls on your heartstrings I don't know what I'm saying um you know it just gets you in the emotions so that's good um, there's a lot I didn't like about this movie, though, so let's start out with what I didn't like. Um, they went way too far with some of the st scares in this movie, and at a point, it really just wasn't scary. It was just annoying. Um, there's just some scenes where, like, these, like, I don't know, CGI monsters are just, like, way too overdone, and, like, they're just, like, it's not scary. It's just, like, what am I looking at, basically? Um, and there is way too many flashbacks. Some of the flashbacks are really good, but, like, there's a lot of flashbacks, and we really didn't need that many flashbacks. And, um, after a while, they could really just get tiring. Um, and that was mainly one of the most exhausting things about the movie. And this movie is 2 hours and 49 minutes. If there wasn't as many flashbacks, I probably would have been as fine with this runtime, because the whole third act of the movie is so, like you know, fast and everything, and I actually, like, I forgot to mention in the good, but, like, I love the third act of this movie, or at least I really enjoyed it, um, I wouldn't say I loved it, because there's definitely some things that happen in it that I don't love, which I won't spoil, but, um, you know, there's, it was definitely the most enjoyable part of the movie, besides maybe the first half hour, I don't know, those are kind of, like, rivaling each other, but, um, the whole middle portion of this movie, the whole second act, drags way too much, um, and that mainly has to do with a lot of flashbacks as well, and, um, you know, just, like, some old things where, like, characters are, like, looking at, like, the past things that have happened, so, you know, it could really add on to the runtime, and a lot of the jump scares you could see coming from a mile away, and that is one of the most disappointing things about the movie is because it does that natural horror cliche and basically, like, warns you without like visible like without telling you that like there's a jump scare about to happen it like you just get ready for it and then it happens so that was really disappointing and something that happens near the end which i won't spoil i thought was stupid if i do a spoiler review i'll definitely talk about it and i'm just saying i haven't read the book 
So, um, don't comment down. Well, this is what happens in the book, because I don't know. Um, but I can't just, I just can't get it out of my mind what happened. And if you've seen it, you probably know what I'm talking about. That, But that's all I'm going to say about that. Anyways, this is probably the most disappointing movie I've seen so far this year. It's not bad, but it's also not that great. I'll give It Chapter 2 a B-. I remember sitting back in the theater for Chapter 1 in 2017, and in the end credits it said Chapter 1, and then I was like, oh no, even though I really enjoyed the movie. Just because what I watched before that, like Chapter 1, was like pretty crazy movie. Um, I also did a review on it, so let me show you a clip from my review in 2017. Hello guys, and welcome to another movie review. Today we are doing IT 2017. So, this video does include spoilers. So, with that being said, let's get right into this. So this movie was probably one of the best horror movies I think there's been. If not, like, put your own opinion down in the comments, but... Anyways, that's enough of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.